This is Tommy's Hole. This train is referred to, named after a kid that apparently crawled up a side pipe, which you'll see at the other end, and drowned, but no history of a Tommy or a kid dying in this section of drain. I don't but know when it comes to, to mines and all that, like um, big forestry and all that, they, they are pretty, they don't like when people mention where um, mines are, or even the names. Mm -hmm. I know a couple of people have been sort of called up by them. Mm -hmm. uh, what's, what's, is it the same thing with drains or? Um, there's a footprint, this could be old. Um, some ducks, sorry, I'm changing the subject. Oh, not with Melbourne Water. Melbourne Water don't want you mentioning them at all, let alone location. Yeah. But um, it's other explorers that don't want you putting locations up. Drains. 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 Uh, we're outside Blades with Nippy, and he's agreed, sucker, he's agreed to do a drain talk with us, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I wouldn't say agreed, I've been coerced to. Um, I don't know, not much to me, I'm a very simple person. I like to explore things and look at stuff and take photos and yeah, that's about it really. When did you first start exploring? Um, Oh, well, growing up as a kid, I've sort of done things here and there, but I guess when I've gotten quote-unquote serious into it, it would have been about three years ago. Yeah. What got you into exploring? Um, it looked cool, so I decided to, you know, oh, that, you know, going into a drain looks cool. I'll, I'll go into a drain and, you know, here I am. <laughs> yeah. What is your exploring highlight? Um... I guess just, you know, hanging out with friends, you know, having a bit of fun, um, looking at stuff as well. Um, somewhat recently, we did a pretty, pretty cool um, semi-abandoned ex-medical manufacturing facility, which was pretty fun. Cool. Um, but aside from that, like, I really like doing old gold mines and, you know, historical stuff because I enjoy the history behind things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. Mines are good. Um, Prowler, if you ever meet Prowler, he loves doing mines. Lot, lot, there's quite a few people in the cave fan, but that enjoy it, but he jumps out. What's number one on your urbex bucket list? I wouldn't really say I've got a bucket list per se, but you know, there's things I want to that I'd really like to do, like um, you know, the classic French catacombs or you know, Chernobyl, um, that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's nice. I'd really like to go over to Japan and take a look at some of the stuff there, um, but yeah, I, I just like to keep things simple and you know, do what I can do. Yep. Cool. Yeah, those are nice. Hmm. Both got Yeah. Hang on, sorry. Sorry, we have to stop. Cock and balls. Oh. We have oh, cock and balls go. already. That's a pretty lame cock and balls. Not much effort's gone into that. I don't know why At they... Unless they put the hairs on it, you know. Yeah. But just to, why go over the cocky? Ah, cocky, oh. cock and ball. <laughs> yeah, I see what they're thinking. When we did um, Como Falls the other day, mm -hmm. we there was like 25 cock and balls in a row. Oh, we should, have, you should start adding like little counts to the bottom of the videos. Well, I did. I didn't do a counter, but I did edit them all. I did. Oh, this is Tommy's hole. This is the hole that the kid apparently died in. Oh, there's a baler, I think that says baler. He's been doing drains forever. I like that. RJ, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is though, but it's It's a bit creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Got a two holes between his eyes. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a baler. Baler did the book. I did a graffiti book recently, which had surprisingly a lot of cave fan stuff in it. We're sitting in the canal outside Blades, there's a few guys doing graffiti downstream and there's a couple of people upstream wandering up. 
both mm. white shirts and grey pants. And I got those stream directions the wrong way around. They're downstream and the graffiti are upstream. But anyway, it's all happening in Elstead Canal. Oops, I have to beat that out. <laughs> It's called drain talk because we talk in the drains, but we're talking about urbex. So it's like street talk, which used to be a footy show thing. Mm. They do just talk on the street about football. It can be all about drains, but it can be about any urbex in general. This is a video, not a photo, by the way. Okay. So is that your, what would you say, is your cousin or your... Yeah, yeah. Take your hat off for a sec. <clears throat> oh, yeah, see the likeness, yeah. Cool. So... That's your cousin. What's his, his name? name Roger. Roger, okay. Yeah. Cool. Roger Jub Jub. No. Is yeah. that your family name? Jub Jub. Mm, Jube Jub. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's actually one word, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for doing that. Thanks for introducing us to Roger. No worries. And show your gut. You got this nice eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's uh, Tommy's Hole, or now known as Jub Jub Stink Hole. Uh, it's from Trapdoor. Yeah. How did you know that? Because I used to watch it on ABC. There's also a Trapdoor there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, 2024. Yeah, I thought it was because my daughter used to watch it. Yeah, and there's the, so the yellow skull thing that, mm. that used to sing and sound like um, Herman Monster or something. What unusual critters have you run into whilst exploring, animal-wise? Uh, we were in a drain um, a couple of months ago, not even that long ago, actually, um, and we we're going through and we see there's a yabby, and the yabby's using the, the flow of the water like a, a yabby superhighway, and we thought, oh, that's peculiar. Normally I've seen only eels in drains. And we get to this part where there's, there's a chamber with four, um, four pipes in it, and there's an entire alive ringtail possum in there. Alive. Alive. He was alive. Mm. Um, so, um, you know, we thought, oh shit, we've got to get this guy out. Blades to. You know, poor, poor thing, don't know how long he's been there. We've got to go take him to a vet. And uh, I was voluntold that I was the one to carry it. So I had to take off my shirt to the horror of everyone else around me. Um, that being said, I'm hairy enough where there's probably a second shirt under there. Um, Pick, pick the little dude up and um, take him take him to the vet and kept in contact with the vet and, you know after a week he got he got released back so good good you know good news out of that but um back but, into the drain <laughs> back, back into the drain uh, back into the general area so you know he'll probably find his way back down there again but that shirt to that day that shirt still smells like possum cool putting his head on job job Ice cream. So this is the Blades Tomb underpass. We had a similar thing. I was going through maze doing a drain walk, and at the bottom of the waterfall there was a possum, and I tried to get it out with no luck. But the cave plan people that I met up there, who I was planning to meet, they were coming down, going to the room at maze, and um, yeah, they actually got him out. It's on the video if you look at the, I think it's the upper maze. Oh no, no, lower maze. Oh, I can't remember, one of the maze videos. You probably want me to film these pieces, but yeah, let's see the light background. Burn City. Tell us something about yourself that most people wouldn't know. Um, outside of, I guess, Urbex, um, I've got 13 beehives. So, you know, like beekeeping and, and, and gardening. It sounds like sound like a dating profile, isn't it? <laughs> like long walks on the beach too. You know, along the canal. Like, oh. along, the, along the canal. Yeah, I guess that'd yeah. be about it, really. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Do you make honey? Uh, I do. This year's been a bit poor because of the, the weather. But um, when, when I do have honey, I, I like to keep a bit for me and my friends and I guess donate the rest of it because it's just a hobby for me. Um, yeah. Also like to make a bit of mead on the side. I don't drink myself, but it's a fun process and you know people like the mead that I make, so you know makes people happy, which makes me happy. Cool. So for those that ask, that is a sewer overflow, so when the sewers overflow or collapse or block up, they pour out into here, into the drain, only used in emergencies. But um, yeah, 
could put a newer grill there. You can see the old rusty ones, but um, I wouldn't get in there anyway. It's the sewer system. Do you tell family and non-exploring friends about your hobby? Um, yeah. They like to look at the pictures that I put on my social media. You know. Yeah. But yeah. Some like it. Some some think it's pretty weird, but I'm having fun, so I don't really mind. Some like it, and some know it's pretty weird. I mean, at, at work in the Zoom meetings, I like to change my background to you know random, um, you know mines that I've been in, or you know parts of drains, and people are like, "Oh, where are you this time?" <laughs> Do you have a tip that would help someone new to Urbex? Um, have fun, I guess. Um, you know, don't don't do anything too silly. You know your limits, and um, I guess probably uh, something that I probably need to do as well. You know, uh, invest in um, you know good footwear and you know, get a torch as well. But yeah, main thing: have fun and don't do anything too silly. Um, I'll take a photo of of Nippy's sh draining shoes in a minute. And, oh, and they can just subscribe to my OnlyFans. Okay, OnlyFans. Well, you only heard it. drains. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, my drain shoes aren't very good, they're slippery ones anyway, so don't do what I do. Um, they're school kids, that's why they were in the same clothes, you probably said that oh, already. It's literally a uniform, there we go. Um, it feels like a public, it feels like a weekend, but... Have you had any serious near misses or injuries? Uh, I've never actually had a broken bone in general, so not really any injuries. Um, near misses, I wouldn't really say that at that other medical manufacturing place. Um, when we were in there, some you know, group of 12ies were in another building. We didn't know that, but at the time they were setting off um, fire extinguishers and that set off the fire alarm system in there. So, you know, we, we, I was with a little group of people and we, we poked our head out and we see one, two, three fire engines come past and we're like, oh shit, we've got to get out of here. And they were right at the hole of the fence where we were. Um, so we decided to walk around the, the fence line to try and find a way out, which there, there wasn't. Um, and then, you know, the police rocked up and we said, oh, yeah, we're just exploring. And then, the, you know, they found the, that group of 12-year-olds and they sort of told us, don't you ever come here again, you naughty kids. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Cool. A lot of people just don't have a story for that one, so it was good that you had one. That's all right, something different. Mm. Oh, it's a... Uh... Not Punisher, but it's sort of got the intended. Um, the mind is predator. So there used to be another tunnel up here. Like before they built this, there used to be a different system. And um, up here, I don't know, they might have blocked it. But you used to be able to see into, and you can see a little bit of the old red brick. But I've got a feeling that. Yeah, it got too dodgy, and they so they left a they left a um, section in because there was a little pipe, and they thought leading into it a tributary. And I thought rather than you know, so I took advantage of the old tunnel for a bit. But um, I got a feeling it was red brick, and bits started falling out of it and all that. So so they I think they've replaced it. You probably see it up here on the left somewhere. Oh, this might be it here actually. No. That's it. So you used to go into that and it would go into this old red brick tunnel, but it got too dodgy. Bob and Green. What is the... They, 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 they even did a dodgy dog filling it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been on an explore that made you think, fuck this, I quit? <laughs> I've not quit it. Um, but thought about it. <laughs> probably that, probably that, that um, inflow for Sloth's tomb. <laughs> no, yeah. That was that, 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 that fucked up my back a bit. Um, I wasn't very happy, but you know, I guess I'll invest in a drain board. Drain board! <laughs> Insert drain board ad here. Drain board! If you were an Urbex superhero, what would your superpower be? 
Oh shit. Um, superpower. <laughs> uh, probably the ability to, to get in anywhere, anytime I wanted to. That sounds a bit creepy, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah but, but people people will get what you mean. Yeah. Um, yeah, either that or seeing in the dark, because that'd be pretty handy with drains. Well, you wouldn't have to worry about torches, I guess. That's true, yeah. yeah the, guess... amount of, the amount of times I've, um, you know, woken up in the morning, you know, I, I've, uh, you know, I thought, oh, I'm going to go do this drain or a mine or just exploring in general, and then I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot to charge my torches. Mm. You know, time to go to, to Woolies and get a shitty one. You know, it's... Yeah. Happened quite a few times, so yeah, seeing in the dark would probably be it. Yeah. Who do you think would make a good drain talk guest? Um, yeah, can't really answer that to be honest, unless there's some, you know, unbeknownst celebrity that does drains, you know, Echo. probably them. Yeah, maybe Echo. Yeah, why not? That'd be interesting at least. Mm. Um, or, you know, try and get some sort of, you know, big name celebrity on here. I hear, I hear Will Smith does drains, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to get slapped. <laughs> COVID hoax. COVID 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 That's this dude. Turkey's a uh, conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy theories are fun though. I used to be a conspiracy theorist, but the dead turned into a bastion of fucking racist punks. Yes, that's true. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's conspiracy theories. Yeah, Every city yeah. now has a dumb, has a QAnon. Um, conspiracy theory. That must be so old, that brown. That brown paint is probably bought from Kmart in Northcote Plaza. Going for a walk up the left tunnel at Glade's tomb. For those that don't know, Blade was one of the founding members of the Drain Dwellers. And I've actually made contact with him recently after about 20 odd years. He moved to South Australia, but he moved back and he wants to come and do Dwellers Tomb with us. So hopefully that gets, that happens this year. You're just like walking in a ball, just a shadow. <laughs> The darkness is your ally. See if you can stick your head in that. <laughs> oh, it's a bit sandy. <laughs> oh. There's a plank in there too, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, it'll seem more natural. There you go. See, look, there you go. That's, um, See, you, you, we walked 30 metres for you to prove your point. You are correct. They've even added a bit of an artistic flair there as well. Yeah, backing one out. Your mum, I reckon, Jub Jub, was this, was this you in the, uh, someone's time traveled. Yeah, baby, we like it raw. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we finish up? Um, uh, stay in school, kids, and don't do drugs. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> don't, don't do drugs. Alright, thanks for your time, Nippy. Do you want to have a little walk up this one? And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of you. Yeah, where's my $50 now? Uh, go away, mate. <laughs> an old rat sticker that's ripped off. We say we have this thing called race around the system and that would be a direction. It used to have the word rats and then that's like an arrow saying go on or something. We have a race like a like amazing race. I don't know if you know what that is. Oh, um, I used to watch TV. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah it was just basically amazing race in drains and abandoned buildings. It's pretty cool. I like that. Hello kid. <laughs> fucking fingered someone's ass for all I know. I don't I literally I literally have no idea what he did or didn't you know.
Cool. I remember this now that we're here. Oh, I have to film the cock and balls. Well, this one's got a vein in it. Tubby sucks. Yeah, here they've gone with the effort of. There's a prowler, lost in space. Bam Bam, I filmed Bam Bam at the Clannies this year. I said, what's your name? And he goes, Bam Bam, Edgar, old school. There's a sick clan guy. Mullet Josh, Mullet Josh is a legend. Wes does running. I have to say that. That's right. oh, it gets smaller here. I reckon it'll stop here. So we went up both um, dwellers until it got smaller. It's still a reasonable size here, but it had to be six foot. This for we do, you know, so when you do the drain talk, I've run out of space to put the audio. Uh, yes. So I've got a few shots of these, even though it's not really exciting. But you'll be saying stuff so entertaining that people won't care that it's the same shot for three minutes. Okay. What'd you laugh for? <laughs> will, you'll be like, it'll be very entertaining, I'm sure. Film star. So, Reminds me of the time. Have you got a few minutes? That reminds me of the time. Sorry, Jub Jub. I don't give a fuck if Jub Jub has to wait anyway. Fuck him. Don't say that about Jub Jub, mate. You only met him today. I fucking hate him. We'll just keep walking all the way out, eh? Oh, this used to be... I don't know. It sort of wrapped itself all around. Mm, just a bit of junk that got down the drain. Mm. Tubby. Just about. Oh, that's a bit of blue stone up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. All right, that would be that's a weird gutter box set up, isn't it? A bit of wood back there. Yeah. There you go. Dism. Oh, Dism or either? Yeah, Dism. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're waiting on yeah, we met him the other day. Yeah, I've got a bit of pain on my hands, Tom. So yeah, no, no worries. Oh, good to meet you. Yeah. I recognise the voice from the YouTube videos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The voice changer. Yeah. 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 So I'll just get like a really low, low voice. Yeah, or well, just start talking. I'll grab my nuts before I talk. And, <laughs> yeah. You can do that for me. You can be my oh, nut yeah, grabber, Jeff. Of course. Jeff, Jeff. Of course. Okay. Yeah, Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I've already shot through here. I'm filming now, but I'm not filming you. I just, oh, got, yeah. I just got the audio. I might, sometimes I use the audio yeah. over stuff. No, oh, if I film it, I film it from like way back. You're just a silhouette anyway. You're not. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I haven't seen 